Hi, welcome to another episode of Drinking with the Stars. Mm. I'm Jethro Nedadog with The Wrap, and I'm here with psych star James Roday. How are you doing? This is delicious, Jethro. <laughs> Thank you. We're at the Hudson in West Hollywood. So let's talk about, I mean, you have really, really deep uh, experience in theater. So I, 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 I assume that you were really, really willing to take on the psych musical? Deep, rich theatrical <laughs> roots. Uh, yeah, you know, I'd never actually done a musical before, but uh, I certainly I come from the theater, mm -hmm. and, I'm, uh, and I'm comfortable disrobing. So I felt I felt like I was up for the challenge. <laughs> we were robbed then because there is no disrobing in here. Well, there's the deleted, there's the deleted scenes. <laughs> okay, good. We'll try to get a hold of the deleted scene yes. for you later. Please do. Um, I know that you also run a theater company, or you're part of a theater company. Here I do. I co-founded a company uh, here in Los Angeles. Um, we've been going at it for a little over a decade now. We just actually moved into a permanent space, uh, which is pretty exciting. It's been, we've been pirates for years, <laughs> bouncing around. Pop-up like, theater. Like gypsies, pop-up theater. <laughs> uh, so yeah, a new era for, for the Red Dog Squadron is about to commence. We're very excited it. about that. I love it. So I figure that with all of your experience that you would be the right person to award the first annual Roday Musical Awards. And not just because they have my namesake, but because <laughs> I am the most qualified. Yes, I yeah. believe so. If you were not the person presenting the awards, you would be the winner of each award. Which is also not a bad deal. Yeah, so we're gonna have, we're gonna give other people a chance here. Um, I'm going, we're gonna start off with who you have awarded best singer to. Best singer in the psych musical. This is a tough one because I felt like uh, there were a lot of people stepping up to the plate, but I'm gonna throw you a curveball on this. I'm gonna go with Kurt Fuller, Whoa. who plays Woody the Corner. And the reason I'm gonna go with Kurt is because he swore up and down to all of us that he could not carry a tune, that he was tone deaf, so much so that we were prepared to pipe in another man's voice through his mouth for his song. And he came in and gave it a shot, thinking that it was gonna be a complete and utter disaster and I thought he sounded pretty darn good. Yeah. So with the context of where he started and where he ended, right. I'm giving best singer to Kurt. Great, and he has, a, he has a really fun song. He's a great song. Yeah, really fun song. Um, all right, so let's go with best dancer. There's a lot of, there's a lot of great dancing choreography. In a lot this. of choreography going on, a lot of appendages <laughs> moving this way and that. Look, Dulé is a professional dancer. That immediately disqualifies him. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, again, unexpected, I'm going to give best dancer to Corbin Burnson. Not so much because mm. of what he's doing in the musical, but because of the moves that I know he has off, off the set. Uh -huh. um, and some of the things that I've seen him do uh, you know, with his wife mm -hmm. and, uh, and during lunchtime. Uh, I mean, he's got a home base, mm -hmm. he's, and he kind of he stays, in, he stays in that home base, but I think you'd be surprised. Yeah, you're awarding him for potential, the potential of it. And, oh. and for the stuff you didn't get to see. Okay, gotcha. He, the Pilates is working out for him too. His center is In very... In a huge way. Have you seen him lately? <laughs> His center is very sturdy. Yeah. Yeah, strong. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so we have people who were singers and dancers coming in, and, sure. and then we have people who may not, you know, like you said, uh, have felt like they were up to to par. Um, who do you think was sort of the best sport of the cast? Best sport of the cast? Um, you know what, I'm gonna go with Tim Amundsen here. Oh. You know, because he is sort of, he is easily the most sort of methodical of us all. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fact that we were doing it so sort of roughshod and without rehearsal and without prep time and it involved dance moves and singing and all that stuff, I think, uh, I think he really sort of just had to kind of like close his eyes, take a deep breath, and just jump in and go with the flow. Yeah. And I was very, I was very proud of him. And he looks great in it. And he sounds great. And he looks great. And his moves are awesome. But uh, I think he was the best sport in terms of uh, what he was, what he was accustomed to doing for something like this, and the way we had to do it. Right. All right. Well, the, let's go for the big one. Mm -hmm. Best all around in the Psych Musical app is. Kirsten Nelson for hitting the highest oh. note in the whole thing. <laughs> yes. I think she hits like a I think she hits like a high E or something. Something that I, I, that uh, I tone deaf. Only that will keep dogs up at night <laughs> and uh, and perhaps shatter glass. Uh, but she hit it. She hits it in the police station, and uh, it is no joke. 
So that's what she gets. She gets the best. She gets the best award of the night. Great. Well, there you have the first annual Rodé Musical Awards. Uh, maybe they'll be able to do another one, and we can do a second annual. I'm I'm up for it. I would prefer to wear less clothing, but uh, I'm I'm down. Like if they're down. Thanks a lot for joining me and James Rodé for this episode of Drinking with the Stars. His name is Jethro. Thank you, Senegal. Psych the Musical premieres December 15th on USA.